Newman, yeah, Newman Press Nail from uh, Pickens, South Carolina. All right, we're at day two uh, SCDR race down here at Talladega Short Track. So you've been on a track already now. So what do you think of it? Oh man, it's a fun track. I I love it out there, man. I'd like to have something like that close to the house. Right. Yeah. So you're uh, you're still leading in points, ain't you? Yeah, we're still leading in points. I'm not real sure how close it'll be after they do them. Uh, I don't know how they do the point system there. We're, the alternate points races with John and Wayne, they uh, got some good racing behind them. So. Well, you're always up front, so I don't think there's going to be much on that. You're uh, you're right there with them all the time. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, uh, we'll still be up there tonight, and have a good run with it. We've been doing pretty good. Some top fives about every run. So. All right, well, I've asked everybody else. I might have to ask you, what about the King of Compact coming up here in a few weeks? You guys planning on coming back up? Yeah, we'll be there. Good deal. Hopefully we go have another good run at it. Last year we was able to get out front and lead some laps, but uh, old Gibson, he was able to take off and check out from everybody. So maybe we'll get up against the wall like he was and have a good run. With I don't know. Your car was working real good in the middle of that racetrack. Yeah, I was, yeah it was <laughs> good there for a while. But there's a lot of them that don't work very good in the middle. Yours was working great yeah, in the middle. It, so. it was doing good until cars started blowing up and stuff, and they kind of leaving oil on the bottom and everything. So. Right. All right, so who you got to thank for getting you here? Uh, yeah, I got to thank uh, Carson Laws. It's his car, I drive for him, and uh, if it was for him, I wouldn't even be you know, out here doing this. So, yeah, Carson Laws, they my wife, Brandy, son, Caden, JC, everybody that comes to track helps us out, Cart, uh, Kurt, Jake, just everybody that's got their hand on the car, and uh, JR Tree Removal, Sexton's Muffler Shop, the City Arborist, and uh, Presnell Tire and Automotive. Ladine. Ladine. Ladine and Company, and uh, Jason Waters tuning, and uh, yeah, Josh Gillen Water. You know he done a lot of work on this car, get it where it's at. Hopefully, I ain't forgetting anybody. But we're gonna have to turn the camera here. He's trying to hide up there, but I'm gonna get him in there. There's yeah. the man behind the plan right there. Yeah, that's the man. Right there. <laughs> Sorry, he gets us back and forth to the tracks every time, so he keeps us going. All right, good luck, guys. Yeah, appreciate it. All right, we're here at day two at Talladega Short Track. Here with uh, Kel Deese. This is your first time here? Yeah, first time racing here at Talladega. Really excited. And uh, remind, right, reminds me a lot of boys. So, you know, ran really good there. Had uh, some good practice times yesterday. And uh, just had some issues going into qualifying. Weren't able to uh, go out there. But got her fixed up now. And uh, just nut and bolt and everything. Make sure everything's tight and ready to go. See if we can give them help. You guys definitely got this Cavalier working this year against all these Hondas, so that's to make everybody up up there up north that's all running cabbies up proud of that. <laughs> yes, I, I definitely try to represent uh, you know the Cavalier world or you know Chevrolet world as a matter of fact. But when we started this, we said you know this is what we want to do front wheel drive, but we did not want to race Hondas. We want to race the Cavalier. We want to be different. We want to beat them with something different. We don't want to we don't want to run the same thing they're running. Um, and so, I mean, we've had some you know, bumps in the road, but you know, we've made a lot of progress you know, <clears throat> going into my second year of racing, and uh, we're really excited about where we're at. And uh, you know, we had second practice; we were fifth quickest yesterday. And uh, you know, see if we can get get a little bit better today. You guys have definitely made some big strides from last year when I first met you guys to this year. So that's that's pretty cool. Who you got to thank to help get you here? Uh, first things first, you know, think you know, Fishbowl Lounge. Uh, that's my aunt and uncle. Uh, they own a bar in uh, Augusta, Georgia called Fishbowl. And uh, she definitely uh, helped me out with my racing program. Uh, Damon's Portable Air Tool Repair. Uh, it's my cousin's business back home. Uh, Stucky's S&H Green Stamps. Uh, pin Gray Motor Oil. Uh, A&A Dryer Vent Cleaning, local business uh, you know, back home. Edgefield's Beef Shop, that's us. Uh, Running J Racing Engines, uh, Walker's Paint and Body, uh, my business, uh, Ace Maintenance and Repair. Uh, you know, I fix appliances back home, and I absolutely love my job. I love fixing stuff. Uh, and uh, you know, we got a new sponsor that's come on board. We got a new sponsor that come on board, uh, Funk Away, the Extreme Odor Eliminator, and you know, the skunk that knows the funk. There you go. Uh, yeah, they got a Got different products where you know 
uh, put your car underneath your seat and you know, deodorizer sprays, you know, get that funk away when uh, everything's smelling a little musty. Yeah, uh, make sure you use promo code FUNKY35. FUNKY35, and you get 20, all right. FUNKY35 and you get 20% off. And, uh, and also, Jason Waters tuning. Uh, he has got this car dialed in and got this motor running good. And you know, it has not really, has not skipped a beat, you know, as in engine-wise. And he's put a great tune on it. As you can tell from all the Hondas running an SCDRA, he knows what he's doing. All right, well, I've asked everybody else. I asked you. I know you've already signed up because I've seen it, but King of the Compact coming up here in a few weeks. That's at yes, our sir. home track. So, obviously, I'm trying to help promote that and mm -hmm. see what everybody thinks. So, uh, I'm, I'm really interested in it and, uh, you know, seeing what this Cavalier can do against these big Hondas and, uh, you know, see if I can give Brandon Gibson Jr. hell this year because uh, that cat was pretty fast last year, uh, you know, at that track and he. He outran him, and you know, hopefully this year I can go up there and you know, see if I see if I can outrun him. You know, he's, but he's definitely fast there. Uh, but I know we got Andrew Smith and John Wyndham and all these guys, and it's definitely going to be a battle. And the you know, fastest front wheel drives in the country are going to be there, and I think it's going to be one hell of a show. And ho hopefully people can show up and make it, and uh, hopefully be able to see a Cavalier parking in Victory Lane for a change. Yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you. Y'all have a great day. All right, I'm John Wisnut, driver of the number 71 2002 Acura RSX from uh, my hometown of Trenton, South Carolina. I run with the SCDRA guys. Pretty much that's the only time we race at their races. Uh, I thank Kelly for the support that he puts on. And everybody in this, uh, this SCDRA is a big, tight family that helps everybody. I mean, I really enjoy going to these races. Look forward to uh, hopefully get through this weekend and go to King of Compacts in Florence in two weeks with uh, with the rest of the boys. Well, you're one of the few that you've ran this racetrack before. Yeah, this racetrack is uh, a little different. I ran it, it was 28 degrees and about eight inches of water around here. It's called Ice Bowl in 2021. I think there was 65 of us for $500. Uh, the night's going to be different. It's, it's uh, it's real fast, it's short, but it's banked, and uh, it's gonna get black and slick probably tonight. It's gonna be, uh, them 24 cars are gonna be putting on a good show, I believe, because it's so tight to get in the corners. Well, you've been doing this for a while. What uh, what racetrack would you compare this to? Uh, Scraven and Sumter, size-wise, but more banking. I mean, it's, uh, like I said, it's, it's a nice facility here. We've been here once. I mean, the Ice Bowl is prestige around here, so, I mean, there's a lot of front-wheel drive cars that come here every week, so. Look forward to coming back. Hopefully this one's on the schedule next year. I well, know most of this is on you, but who you got to thank to help you get this thing going here every time you come out? Yeah, uh, ain't a whole lot of sponsors, but I'd like to thank Bruce at Dodge Master Automotive. He does a lot. My son, Chance, Spencer, my wife, for putting up with us going up and down the road. All nights working on this thing in the shop, trying to get it going. Back home, my father-in-law owns Dad's Towing. Uh, he contributes. Uh, Mark Bunch Racing, he helps out. Uh, Clay Collins racing, Beck recycling, my buddy Lance Beck, you know, if he's got cars in his junkyard that I need parts, I can get whatever I want off of them. So, uh, Hollywood Graphics makes all the stickers. I mean, it ain't nothing. We got, we got a wrap for it, but we're going to fix this quarter panel right here that's a little beat up before they put it on there. So, uh, Hollywood Graphics, Sign Advantage, uh, Terry's Utility Trailers, he does a lot of the welding stuff for me. Chris and Dalton is here helping Shannon. Andrew, everybody, you know, Junior and them, if, if I got anything, the Gibsons, if I need anything, they'll help me out. So, I mean, it's like I said, it's a good, tight family here that races. We, we enjoy it. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. I'm Kevin McKenzie. I'm from Jackson, Ohio. Should be good. It's got a good mic on it. I'm Kevin McKenzie. I'm from Jackson, Ohio. All right. So, this first time down here at Talladega? Yeah, it's my first time here. Well, um, you got to run yesterday, uh, first round qualifying and practice. What do you think? Yeah, it's a nice little track. It's short, um, a lot of banking, but uh, real, real nice place. Well, you've been doing some traveling. You got anything you could compare it to? Any other tracks you've been to? Um, it's it's kind of like a Sumter, but a little bit shorter, but kind of same uh, same flesh material. All right, so you've been running a lot of SCDRA races this year, so what do you think about the series and 
just the whole traveling thing. Uh, it's a real good series. I mean, I like it. I like traveling down here. A lot of group, good group of guys that will don't care to lean a hand in and help you if you if you need a part or need anything. There's always always someone there to help you. That's that's what makes it nice. All right, I'm gonna ask you the same thing I have everybody else. King of the Compact coming up in a few weeks. Are you, you planning on going? Yeah, I'll be there. All right. Who well, you got to thank for getting you down here? Uh, I like to thank uh, my fiance here. She she always packs my bags and always has everything ready for me and uh, make sure I got everything I need. Um, kind of a one man team. You know, I, I build my own stuff. I don't have no sponsors or uh, anybody to help me. I work on all my stuff myself. So. It makes it tougher because you guys got another kid on the way, don't you? Yeah, I got another baby here in December. So awesome! Uh, Congratulations. Hopefully, it don't don't settle it down too too long. <laughs> all right, thank you. Thanks. Andy McGrew, Driver Crest, South Carolina. I know this is night two, but uh, have you been here before that? No, sir. First time here, so what do you think about it? It's a, it's a little bull ring. It's a little different than what we used to. It's, this is a driver's track. Can you compare it to anywhere else you've been? Um, it's it's kind of close to Salter. It's, it's a little close to Salter. Got a car. Yeah, just give it a second there. <laughs> Alright, say it's close to Sumter? Yeah, it's close to Sumter. That's about as close as we've got to it so far. Alright. Well, you run with the SEDR on a regular basis. I mean, what kind of year you're having? I mean, tell people about the SEDRA because you've done it. This ain't your first year. No, we've, uh, this, this will be our sixth year that we've run with SEDRA. And uh, it's a great series. We, we, all the guys we race with, we have a good time. We help each other. If somebody needs something, we help them. They need something, we help them, you know. Um, it's, it's a great, it's a great class. We enjoy it a lot. Um, and, and this is the fastest front wheel drives in the world right now, so it's hard not to, not to enjoy them. There you go. All right, I've been asking everybody, King of Compact's coming up in a couple of weeks. You gonna make the trip up to Florence? Yeah, absolutely. Good deal, that's good to hear. Um, well, who you got to, got to thank for helping you get here? Well, we gotta thank the Groove's Body Shop, which is my body shop. I own Body Shop and Towing Service. And, um, Timber Top Enterprises, Easily Tire and Brake, Lynx Extermination. Um, we got Coggins Pool Service. We got Buddy's Machine Shop, Jason Waters Tuning, um, Decker Home Improvement. Uh, Jason McGrew, he does all my sheet metal work and stuff like that. And I also want to thank Chris Harville, Rabbit Man. He's my crew chief and he's with me through thick and thin. He's right here every day with us. So. If anybody don't know, Eddie's always got sharp cars. I will give him that. They they are some sharp cars and always in contention one way or another. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. I'm Jacob Bryant. I race a uh, 95 SCDRA car from Forest City, North Carolina. Have you ever been on this, this track before or this first time? No, this is the first time I've ever been down here. I've been to East Alabama, but I've never been to Talladega Short Track. Well, what do you think of it? I love it. I absolutely love the way the surface is. I love the way the track's set up. I like the way they're running it. It's very efficient. Track. Can you compare it to any other track you've been to? Or? The closest thing that I can compare it to, it doesn't have the banking. And, and it's just a track, I've, it's not anything like I've raced before. You know, I've raced a lot in the Carolinas and, and some in Pennsylvania and up through Florida and, and or down through Florida and different places in Georgia, but I've never raced on a track like that. You run a lot of, you run with the SEDR on a regular basis, right? Yes, sir. I thought you did. All right, I'm going to ask you the same question I've asked everybody else. King of Compact coming up in a couple of weeks. Are you going to make the trip up to Florence, Kentucky? I'm actually planning on it. I took about two years off from really focusing on racing, trying to get my life kind of straightened out and a lot of changes going on in it. And uh, this is the year that I kind of decided that I was going to be competitive again. And so I'm really focusing on it. And I think that track is, is a good track and I'd really like to try it out. I run against a lot of guys that have a lot more horsepower than I do. And I just think that there's different ways of doing it and I'm trying to do it uh, you know, cost effective and, and just have a good time with these guys. And I think the King of the Compacts is a big show. I think it's got a lot of uh, a lot of guys interested in coming. And I think that's where you want to be to put on a show and, and show them that you're a front runner. Well, that's our home track, and I'll tell you, when you run that track, you'll you'll love it. That, oh yeah. It it and if you're competitive in Florence, you can competitive anywhere. Oh it's, yeah. Well, it's, it's a big track, and it's it's kind of built more for the bigger motor cars. And I have one I can put in, but. I'm just trying to prove people that you can take a junkyard motor with low horsepower as long as you set it up right and be competitive in this class. Yeah, it's typical Florence Speedway, black yep. slick, you ain't gonna need that big motor. Nope, nope. So you'll just be you'll be just fine. Place, so. 
I was gonna say my car ain't gonna have mine's gonna have a junk car motor in it. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, sir. 